On the inside, they manufacture munitions here, lots of it. On the outside, wildlife enjoys a sanctuary and plant life thrives under the watchful eye and careful nurturing of one man. He's the Lone Ranger of McAllister. There's approximately 10,000 acres that are upland forests, and we're talking about uh, post oak, hickory uplands. Then there's uh, approximately 3,000 acres that are bottomlands, and that's the pecan, the uh, red oak, and water oak bottoms. And that way you can get bomb in mind. Bill Starry is the natural resource manager at McAllister. He's been preserving the environment here by himself for more than 30 years, and he loves his job. You come through that front gate, and the first thing you see is a white-tailed deer or a strutting tom turkey. You know, that improves the starting of your day immensely. Believe me, it does. His passion for the mission makes for an intimate relationship with his surroundings, even down to a blade of grass. A, a hay meadow of this magnitude, this size, you don't see that very often. It's leaf all the way to the ground, with the exception of, of this, this stalk. It's leaf. All, see how broad leaf that is? Same palatability as alfalfa. In other words, the digestibility of it, same as alfalfa. It's easy to digest. The, the protein content. In addition to being a natural habitat for plants and wildlife, the installation also serves as a classroom for school children and university students who are frequent visitors to this odd juxtaposition of industry and environment. And a good example of that is our, our, our bomb and mine plants. You know, even with the military business, we can do this. You know, and, and, and that's the that's a neat part about this place. From McAllister, Oklahoma, Pam Proper, Pentagon Channel News.